I don't know what's happened. I've got no power steering. My car just broken down. Day two. Yo, what is up, guys? As you saw that clip beforehand, yeah, that was the clip from yesterday. So today is the next day, if it makes sense. And obviously, as you can see, the gates might be open from behind, so we can't actually go onto the premises. So I'm on a kids intro, sweet, short, and obviously we can get onto the right. I wanna show you guys my test route today. And my car is fine now completely. It was basically just a loose negative connection on the battery that I forgot to do myself when I was changing the coolant and the housing itself. I just forgot to basically screw it in. So we'll, we'll, we'll set off here now, and obviously I'll get to you guys when you're on, my, on top of my head for a POV drive, yeah? See you guys. So we're back guys and obviously I'll be taking you on my test route now I'll be going around exactly what I did in my test literally the same thing <laughs> literally I remember it off by heart so it'll be a good job for you guys to actually take your test in the Featherson Centre and basically it it is a bit of everything like we did a couple of 60 roads you know some 30 and i'll be talking along as a goal you know to try and help you guys you know maneuver the area for potential maneuver spots where he was going to make me do like reverse bay park uh, sorry reverse parallel parks and stuff like that but yeah i don't want to be blocking normal people's entrance to the test center because people are taking the test so i feel like it's unfair so we'll just get on that way and basically the way it started was we left the waiting room he asked me to read out a registration plate on one of the cars to test my site and he asked me my first tell me question my tell me question was tell me how would you know that the brakes are working properly you saw obviously the answer is they don't they don't feel spongy there's no slack you know so it's all good you know like we, i answered that got my first question right and then we was on our way we left through here and it's a straight left turn for me it's a 60 though so you have to look both ways you know Build up speed pretty quickly as well because it is a 60. And we don't want to be like blocking people, you know what I mean? Because the worst thing you can do here is like obstruct someone behind. Because it is a 60, like I said, and if someone's coming very quickly, then you got to be very, like, you know, confident about it and pull out real quick and pick up a lot of speed. But yeah, I'm not even going to bother going to 60 because there's a 30 right here and you're meant to be going 30 by the time you reach this sign. So we're going to go into 4th here. Slow down to 30. And just, you know, keep in 4th for now. Because it's a straight road to the first roundabout. And to be fair, my test route wasn't that bad compared to what some people have had that I've talked to. and. My test route was pretty like quick as well. I don't know if it was full, I think 45 minutes of driving. But at one point I thought I failed and it was taken back to the test, but you'll see what I mean when we get to it. I was actually doing quite fine to be fair. But yeah, this is just a 40. I mean, we're about to approach the roundabout where my car broke down in the first clip you saw in this video and I'm getting PTSD straight away. But the car's running fine since then, so nothing too light worry about I think well, there's a lot of learners out today obviously because you know there's a lot of tests going on and stuff like that I just want to get this video out for you guys man so people who are actually watching this video from like around here and doing the test in Featherston like you can practice you know and yeah first turn obviously left make sure to slow all the way down look if anything coming from the right and let's go <laughs> we didn't break down this time We're making progress man <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'll, every single time I'm going to see that roundabout, now I'm going to have PTSD now. We're going to be taking the right turn on the roundabout. Oh, we've got a funeral going on, fortunately. Oh, we, we, we um, enabled that indicator there. Or should I say reinitiate? Sounds better, doesn't it? Still going right. Do a bit of clutch control if you have to. Slow down. Re <laughs> Reinitiate the indicator once again. There's a lot of people turning right. I'm guessing it's for the funeral. It's a shame, man. It's a shame, but. He's turning right as well. Look at this. This, this would be a nightmare on your test. So we've got another person here. Check 
middle mirror, left mirror. So I can't actually do my first like pull on the left that he asked me to do, which is where those two trucks are. But he did ask me to uh, pull on, on the side of the left of the side of the road, and unfortunately I can't do because there's two trucks. But he was right here where they're like parked right there. So I pulled on the left, you know, neutral. I um, check your left mirror as well when you're coming back over. So I pull on the left, I'll go back into neutral, you know, handbrake on and he'll ask you to obviously go back on your way when you're ready. So obviously right indicator, check your blind spots. Watch out for that speed bump as well. Little potholes everywhere in this area. But we're gonna be turning right here onto Heli Road. Make sure to plan ahead, look ahead, look in your right mirror look into the road, slow down, turn easily, make sure to look out for cars coming in your direction because there is parked cars on your side of the road so you got to give way you know. Oh, see there we go we got an emerging car, slow down, check your middle mirror as well when you're doing it to make sure the one's behind you, they would love to see you doing that. I'm in second gear now because they're building up speed pretty slowly, you know. We've got a bus on the right. We've got a lot of junctions here, every single side, east turn and right, beautiful. Go back into second gear. Build some speed here. And then we're turning right here at the end of this road. Make sure to check your middle mirrors always when coming up to junctions. Mirror at signal manoeuvre, you got your manoeuvres done. You can't actually see because it's obstructed as you can see by a car though, which is usually what happens. So edge a bit, there's a car coming so we can't go. This is why you got to edge towards junctions and check. We've got another car, edge forward, you know, lean forward, check, nothing's coming. I'm going to cancel that wiper there. There's, as you can see, plan ahead, there's a garbage truck and it's collecting bins obviously, so make sure there's no one overtaking that. The obstruction is on their side of the road, but there could be some people, you know, who are overtaking like that. So be ready for that, check your middle mirror, slow down slowly, you know. You know say thank you for that. And then, obviously, if they're waiting like this man did, then it's perfectly fine. It's first give way here, so stop at the end of this road, no matter what you do. Go into first here, just nothing coming, emerge slowly, go, 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 go. Absolutely beautiful. Watch out for cars, you know, it's another junction. We've got cars coming towards us, so plan ahead again there is cars on your side of the road again so you're the one that has to give way here there's a car coming but I reckon we'll fit in there perfectly we'll slow down here for them look left mirror make sure there's no bikers or anything you know pedestrians emerge back check your right mirror no one's all taking you build speed pretty quickly here it's an open road still going 30 though remember and we're going to be turning left where that learner just emerged from is exactly where we went underneath a blind bridge so there's a car coming check left me right check right turning left so check your middle left mirror look ahead we absolutely fine yeah slow all the way right down as soon as you get over past the bend here because there is a blind bend, like I said, underneath the bridge as well, so it's only one way. So you slow down here, you honk your horn here. Let people know that you're coming from around the corner. Oh, luckily, thank you very much. Thank them for that. And you know, be good about it, man. Like, say thank you. For example, they gave me way. It's much easier for him to do it than for me to, you know, reverse all the way around the bend. So he reversed, and we're on our way, you know. Problem solved. At the end of this road, we'll be turning left. And 
and let's wipe it. I hate when it rains because I always have to wipe my mirrors, man, and it creates an unnecessary sound. So we're turning left here, check your left mirror once again, always check them. We've got an obstruction again. So you know, get forward, edge, check, nothing's coming. And then we're going right back up here. And you'll recognize the area because we literally drove past it. It's, a, it's another uh, one way, you know, at a time. But there's lights this time, so it makes it 100 times easier. And as soon as we emerge from the bridge, it's a hill and it's a double giveaway line. So make sure if they take you down here to be you know, cautious about that. Make sure not to go with when it's not your turn, you know, because you will literally fail. <laughs> it is two giveaways, you'll see what I mean in a second. So it is our way, we still made it on that yellow light. Build some speed pretty quickly, you know, because we did emerge a bit late there on that yellow. There's a little nice little cute dog who's head out the window. But so as you can see, we've got first giveaway right here. We're going straight. So as you can see, there's a car coming both ways. And we're good to go. And here we've got another giveaway. And as you can see, there's nothing coming this time. So we're going to go straight ahead. Check all mirrors every single time you, you know, join a junction and that. Get into a good habit of doing it. And if you can't see me moving my head when I check mirrors, because we're on super view mode, so you can't actually see me like moving my head most of the time. I am doing it though. Or if I'm not, I'm just, you know, moving my eyes. But for you guys who are doing that test, you know, it might be easier. So emerge from here, we're turning left. enough space for the vehicles on the left just check in give a lot a lot of space you know make it easy for yourself and then we're looking ahead again planning nothing coming check your right mirror nothing overtaking yeah and we'll be turning left into this road yeah absolutely Fantastic, because it we're going to be joining back to the roundabout where you can we were literally started off. So you can see we're going back towards the test center, and this is where I thought I failed because we're taking me back towards the test center, and I was like, right, and then this is over. You know what I mean? But it turned out to you know just be a diversion, and we just turned, and you'll see what I mean when we get there. But we're turning right in this roundabout, so I'll signal early, you know, check your mirrors and that. Ahead, not planning, checking all the mirrors again, signaling out, checking left mirror, and we just go in now. So that truck's pulling out, and I reckon that's a learner as well, isn't it? Yeah, of course. All these trucks are like top gear, and as well, watch out because. Oh, it is driver training, so they, you know they are pretty slow moving. So you got to plan ahead as well with them. You know, bear with them as well. They're learners, just like you are. If you're obviously taking a test, then hopefully you won't be. But we'll be turning left on this roundabout. People, man, they're learning nice cars, man. Look at that, that beautiful golf, man. Look ahead, plan, indicate left. Hold help, check your left mirror, third gear, you know they are slow moving so cancel your indicator and just you know stay back as well. It's a pretty big vehicle, you know. It's got a lot of blind spots, more than us anyway. Slow down here because it is a hill. I'm sure not to breach that 30 miles per hour. car coming up very quickly behind us I wouldn't be surprised if it overtakes but he's coming really fast we'll be turning left here let them go they'll find it hard to turn without us you know 
turning left right behind them. And I did have a pull on the left here, exact, this is weird man, I had to pull on the left exactly where that bloody mini is right now, so I can't do it again, but indicate right that you're overtaking them. Okay, back, check your left mirror. Come up to a one way so bridge again so we've got we've got right of way here though so if, if you look ahead plan you know see someone's coming make sure to stop just in case so that car stopped for them there and he has to stop for us as well so we'll just grow all the way through slow down underneath the bridge give him a little thank you and then obviously we're just going to be following this road again and as you can see there's a lot of learners on this road which is why obviously I've, I was probably taking on this one because it is a very known Featherstone like route for people. It's a bumpy road though. And we're about to come up to a roundabout and we're going to be taking the first exit. Looking right. Cancelling the indicator. We'll be turning right here on this junction, right behind this learner. And I think he's doing exactly the same thing as I am, and we're about to find out if it's true. But lights aren't red right now, so we'll just put the right indicator on as soon as they turn green. Just to let obviously this is a right turn only, so we can't go anywhere from here other than right, so I don't think there's actually any need to do it, but it's a shame it's raining, man. Like, it's always bad weather as soon as I want to record. Like, yesterday was perfect weather, man, and my car decided to break down, so it didn't help it. But it was pretty sunny, man. I checked the GoPro footage back, and it was some of the clips were corrupted as well. I don't know why. I think it was the SD card itself. And you can't actually see a lot, but yeah. Put that right indicator on, you know. So we'll be going in the left lane. Make it easy for ourselves. There's a 40 here, so make sure to build up that speed. We're staying in this lane because we are going straight. Make sure to, this is your lane now, so make sure to stick to it. As you can see, it's a staggered there, but there's roadworks. Usually there isn't roadworks, but you'd be in this lane where those roadworks are, where the cones are. So make sure to, you know, stay in that lane and then look left, because we'll be going left here. Indicate, make sure to check your left mirror, no one's overtaking, you know. Build up some speed. And as we can see, there is a lot of roadworks going on. Usually this wasn't here when I was doing my test, you know. So you'll have people overtaking you on the right, you know, minding their own business. And obviously we're just cruising 40 in the left lane doing our test because that's exactly what happened to me man there's some people overtaking me but it's obviously all right because you're the one taking your test you know what i mean but it looks like the whole of this lane's down including on the other side as well so it's just a 40 for everyone so unfortunately there's a massive line behind us of people because obviously there's a learner in front of me and obviously i'm doing the test so i can't really be breaking the speed limit and i can't do it anyway because i've got a black box so at this bridge it turns to a 60, you'll see a massive sign, as you can see there, and there is obviously, oh there's cars, obviously there's works going on, 100%. Builds us some speed now because it is a 60, you have to build it confidently as well. There we go. Zero to 60 in two, two weeks man, I'm telling you, this car is has absolutely zero power whatsoever. If you're five gears as well, it doesn't help, but you know. We'll be turning right on this roundabout. So, position obviously yourself, make sure to look, because obviously there's a different layout, you know, there's a, there's a lot of different new hazards, you know. 
and as you can see the learner's gone exactly the same way as us because <laughs> once again this is a test route you know what i mean this is exactly where i did my test so i was correct and all that but yep i had a pull i had, I had exactly the same thing as in where there was a car on my side of the road and there's a car coming and as you can see there is one right now so look ahead make sure there's nothing coming like he did stop perfectly give yourself some space and you'll be on your way we'll be turning left here on this bridge and let's see if they do the exact same thing as us we'll be turning left here in the bridge it's a giveaway as well yep he's doing exactly the same thing it's a giveaway so you know slow down position obviously your gears correctly we'll give him some space as well just in case he's doing he did it absolutely perfectly so obviously we're looking if there's anything coming nothing's coming so bring your clutch up be confident about it as well it's a pretty big hill man i'm not gonna lie to you thankfully i didn't install on my test but there's a lot of people who stole there apparently from what i've heard from my instructor Got dgn on the other side we'll be turning right here this road so make sure to check your right mirror look ahead and this is where i got asked to do my emergency stop obviously i won't be doing one you know i don't want to kill my car but it's a 40 build up some speed he looked behind him obviously if it's safe to do so he put his hand out and he said stop we did the emergency stop uh did it successfully because he said obviously we won't be doing that again so if he says that in the test that means you've done it correctly if he asks you to do an emergency stop and yeah we were on our way again it's a 40 make sure to not break the speed limit here because it is easy to do that we yeah, we just fought all the way down this road people might overtake you once again because it is quite a wide like road we'll be going past the prisons on the right so watch out for emerging vehicles from there and yeah we, there's a lot of learners right behind us right now because i can see them and it, like i said man i wouldn't lie to you guys I, this was my actual test like obviously i wouldn't be driving it in passion you know what i mean so i I asked, obviously, I remember what I did because I was so prepared for it. Like, we did this test route, like, so many times before my test. So, luckily, we got the exactly same one, you know what I mean? And we did all the manoeuvres, etc., in all the areas, and it was fine. But there isn't a lot of ways that they can, like, trick you and catch you out towards the end of the test, which is basically approaching now. And they do it quite sneaky as well, because you'll see in a sec, when we get to the end of this road, and the junction, you'll see what I mean. But there's a lot of you know, giveaways, there's a lot of, you know, for example, that hill start there on that bridge. You've got, obviously, roundabouts, a couple of them. So, yeah, we've got a left turn here watch out for emerging vehicles again there you go got 40 again doesn't change at all throughout this whole thing got a learner mini behind us so watch out for that red car there doesn't pull out on us absolutely fantastic then you know people are usually generous to like learners you know but you know when you're learning people overtake you you know think they can obviously do everything they wouldn't do on normal driving they literally overtake you you know cut you off etc but that's because people you know they don't have sympathy but on your test you, what i find is like my friends and stuff like as well when they're taking the test is you know they're usually good for you you know they don't pull out and stuff like that I guess it's my look but as you can see we've got a right turn coming up now on this junction but there's a right turn just before it so make sure not to signal too early because he will literally put you down as a minor or major depending on the situation as you can see it's right here on the road and as you can see it's it's a right turn but we're not doing that one there's a box yellow box now we're signaling on the right turn check your right mirror position yourself and re in reinitiate your right indicator because we are turning right on this junction as you can see there's a learn right behind us doing exactly the same thing yellow light and as you can see we've got cars coming from the other direction as well make sure to make sure that no one's coming towards you because they've you know they've got a green light as well 
but it is a 13 on this road so don't don't go too fast because the speed coming right off the turn just you know you might be a bit heavy footed because you was driving 40 for a while down there now so you know, just make sure to keep an eye on the speed all the time especially in this area speed camera and then there's a 40 sign again as soon as we reach the roundabout and obviously it's, it's obviously applies to as soon as that sign and obviously throughout the roundabout on, on the next road so we'll speed up a bit here now make sure to plan the heads or look if there's something coming because we'll be joining the roundabout pretty quickly here and look right there's a Honda coming so we'll be joining the roundabout Check your right mirror out, make sure no one's overtaking you. Make sure no one's emerging from the motorway there. Put your left indicator on, get off the roundabout. To fifth. And here we're just cruising again for a while, the same road. Slow down here for the roundabout, get in gear, look right, make sure something's coming, signal. No, it cancels itself, so just on your way again, fourth again. Make sure to look out for anyone overtaking you again here, because they do overtake you on this little stretch for the roundabout. That Audi's going very quickly, but I don't think they're going to overtake. Once again, slow down, look right. Make sure to watch out for puddles here as well if it was raining. It's a, it's a big area for where the uh, puddle was built up when it was raining. And you will aquaplan, literally, if you go into it. It should be fine on a, on a nice day like this. When, you know, it's a bit like, you know, showering it down. It's not too bad. It'll be fine. But if it was raining down heavy, like... There will be a massive puddle there and just watch out for that because people might you know you might need to swerve out of the way and people might be in the right lane overtaking you but apart from that it should be fine instead of 40 so make sure to keep to the speed i think as you can see we've got a massive crane kind of truck thing there might be cars emerging from behind of it you never know let me just reposition my phone because it's so wonky Got so many speed comings along the way. None of them work though. Don't tell anybody I told you that, yeah? People bite down six down these sometimes, man. And I've never seen a flash in my life. And I know I'm on a box coming down this road every single time I come back from uni. So, you know, it's uh, quite, a, quite a lot. But yeah, it's, we're still in the 40, but literally like 10 seconds from now, it changed to 30. So, make sure to keep on top of that keep on obviously 30 miles per hour limit once you reach here when the song it says city of Wolverhampton you got 30 and it says there's literally lines on the floor so you meant to be going 30 by the time you get there so we're slowing down here going 30 and we'll be turning right where you can see the cars emerging from that road there on the right so put your indicator on where that bike's turning And then position yourself after red box in the middle. And obviously look left, there's a car turning. There's a white van coming so you can't go yet. Obviously look out. Turn into the road. And as you can see there's people, a lot of learners everywhere. And it's hard to get out of that road but luckily we're turning left here. Look ahead as well, because as you can see there is buses and stuff. I'm turning right behind this bus. Make sure there's nothing turning into your street, you know. Make sure to be clear. And as you can see, I had my first 
and last, sorry, my last park on the left here. So we'll do this one for you to show you what it's like. And then exactly, I went into that little ditch there, which is a drain. And obviously I stalled as soon as we told, got told to pull out on the right, obviously you go back on your way. So obviously I put my car in first and I stalled, quickly put the gears back on. That was my first minor of the whole test. And it's literally at the end of the test. So he says, when you're ready, you know, go on your way again. So you check all your blind spots again. Indicate. Got DPD turning right, but in the middle of the road. As you can see, we've got buses on each side as well. Because it is the last um, stop for that line of buses. And as you can see, this is right, it's not a right turn, it's literally one road. This is where they catch you out as well. It's a right, it's just what your road. So, you know, it's not a right turn, so you don't need an indicator. So we're testing that. We're turning left here at the end of this road. It is a junction where I got my second minor and the only last minor of the whole test. And it's because I coasted into it because nothing was coming. As you can see, nothing's coming this time, so we'll be on our way. But what I did was I, you know, I, I looked right, I looked I planned ahead, and I just kept the clutch in, you know, and I coasted all the way down. And it was a minor, you know, control of gears or whatever he said, or coasting something like that. And you know, he could have he said it could have turned to a major, you know, so if there was something coming and obviously it affected them, but we've got a little roundabout here, we'll be going straight ahead on it. And what people do usually they cut cut ahead of it, you know, over it and stuff like that. Obviously, because we're on our test, we'll be going around it like good citizens. Building some speed here again respectfully because there is a cemetery on the left so don't make too much noise or you know cause an obstruction so we're going 30 fourth gear and then you should recognize the area because we literally started hitting the test here it's the second roundabout we took, but make sure to keep on the brake here. Cover the, you know, clutch with your other foot, just in case you need to stop. We'll be turning right on this roundabout. So we'll be slowing down, clutch down, second gear, turning right, nothing's coming. So we'll just go around the roundabout. Do not drive over the roundabouts as well. Like that's one more thing, like you, you'll get minus for it. And I've known a couple of people that even failed for it because you know they went right over the roundabout like just make sure not to hit the white bit of the roundabout because you're not allowed to once again foot over the brake not, not not to exceed 30 it's easy to get like you know carried away here is is downhill we turn right on this roundabout so get yourself ready second gear look right nothing's coming signal left check your left mirror Car, so slow down, look in your right mirror, look left again, left mirror, get over to the left lane, foot over the brake again because it's a hill again. And as you can see, we're literally coming up to the national speed limit now, in basically the end of the test. And I will be pulling into the test quickly, but I don't want to be obstructing people, like I said. So, you know, it's the little time of day where people are taking the test. So, you know, once you reach the speed limit here on the national, build up some speed. And we pulled into the center. He asked me to do a reverse bay park, because as you saw, we did zero maneuvers that whole test. So he did ask me to do a reverse bay into one of the bays in the test center. And, you know, he stopped the car. He asked me if I was, you know, happy with the parking. I said, yes. I, you know, he, he got my provisional license. So he said, all right, I'm happy to announce that you have passed today. And obviously I was happy. Everyone's happy, my instructor was happy. And yeah, it was a good day. He took my provisional, you know what I mean? It was a good day. He took my provisional, sent it off and was on our way again. But that's a test done for us today here. 
and make sure to not obstruct any people like I've said because people are taking their test so we'll just get out of the way of people not end of the video here guys so that was my test route yeah so you know if you're from here and you're taking your test in Featherston hopefully I've managed to help you out a bit with my test route you know show your instructor the video watch the video yourself to make sure to practice and like I said in my previous video practice makes perfect so the more you practice the more you look at YouTube videos the more you get confident with the road you know the better you would do on a day and hopefully everyone that's watching this video is taking a test soon and obviously I'm wishing you guys good luck because you know passing first time is not that hard once you know you have enough driving experience you know you're confident and you're not doing stupid little mistakes all the time and yeah if you've watched my other video make sure to check it out if you like this one make sure to leave a like please if you want leave a comment with some feedback subscribe because it's muchly appreciated and make sure to stay tuned to the channel because I've got a lot of videos coming in the next couple of weeks with a lot of content and I'm not going to spoil anything but it is going to be pretty fun for you guys to watch in my opinion and yeah for today I'm out guys see you later. peace